Morning Zoo bit of the day Wednesday. <laughs> Morning Zoo bit of the day Wednesday. Damn. Now this, is, is this self-explanatory? It's all in the name, right? Well, it started because the emails were flying yesterday after the show. Everyone's talking about the Moose Show in the back <laughs> office. The Moose Show. And I guess he replaced Man Cow in Des Moines, Iowa. <laughs> oh, wow. Are you so, kidding? No, is I'm it not. an actual moose? <laughs> is it the moose show? Man, if a radio station had the balls to just put a moose on the air. That would be great. Who's not listening every day? Who's not listening to the moose? I think today he might actually say something. <laughs> and occasionally you just hear, Meh. And his <laughs> antlers hitting the mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's eating. He's eating the mic. <laughs> That's right. It's uh, Morning Zoo Bit of the Day Wednesday. Yeah. The guys are in the back office as we speak, digging for those fine Morning Zoo bits. Great. Oh, and we'll give the, the show credit and everything. Oh, good. <laughs> Gee, I hope you don't chase people away and, and send them over to those shows because these are so great. <laughs> <laughs> these obviously come off of some kind of service. Uh, or do they make them themselves? Uh, a lot of them come from a service, yeah. And then the show plays them, make them believe it's theirs, yeah, yeah. So then their listeners think they're listening to brilliant broadcasters, <laughs> do they? And then uh, some of the morning zoos will actually try to make their own. And I believe yeah. uh, the Moose Show might have made this one. The Moose Show, yeah. It's called the Kid Rock'em Sock'em. <laughs> oh, now that must be because a Kid Rock got punched. Yeah. Uh, or actually punched Tommy Lee. Kid Rock'em Sock'em. I get you. See, get it? Kid, Kid Rock'em rock Sock'em. And then Rock'em Sock'em, like Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Right. Rock'em Sock'em. Oh, boy. Jesus. And if you guys want to... The name alone sucks. If you guys want to send us a bit from your local uh, Morning Zoo show, we'd greatly appreciate it. Oh, please. So we can feature your city, your town. Oh, uh, Morning Zoo bit of the day Wednesday. Morning Zoo bit of the day See, Wednesday. I gotta still read it because it's <laughs> a little know. long. It's very long. <laughs> A little long. I wonder how long it's going to take before we actually have a little promo for that. <laughs> well, let me uh, help out Tim. Morning Zoo, bit of the day, Wednesday. <laughs> All right. So are you guys ready for the Kid Rock'em Sock'em from the Moose Show? Please don't leave me hanging. All right. Here we go. It's uh, Morning Zoo, bit of the day, Wednesday. Here is your, here is your uh, Morning Zoo bit. New from Trailer Toys Incorporated. Just in time for Christmas, the Kid Rock'em Sock'em Robot. Look out, Tommy Lee. This Kid Rock'em Sock'em's going platinum on, on your, your face. face. Realistic Kid Rock action. Greasy wife beater t-shirt. Dirty looking goatee. And more. Fresh off his video music awards battle with Tommy Lee, you can bring Kid Rock home to kick some ass. And now for our special price. Warning. This toy is being recalled due to lead paint and hepatitis concerns from its Chinese factory. Do not play with this toy. Immediately return to the Kid Rock'em Sock'em Robot to place a purchase. Unless you're Pam Anderson. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> and there you have it. Your morning's your bit of the day. You got it right. There it is. Yes or no? Oh, you added an extra E. Bush. I like to make werewolf movies. <laughs> See. Wow. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, uh... <laughs> I'm being honest. I got to be honest. That w wasn't even even remotely. Oh, I thought you were going to say that wasn't that bad. Entertaining. No, that's why we're doing it. See, oh, no, I understand why we're doing see, it. See, we got to tear down another wall here. We're playing this stuff to show you how awful this stuff is. I think they are. Hopefully people understand that. Huh? Hopefully they got that. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I thought I we were playing so. that like for Laugh Getter. Like, well, folks, you know pull over first. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this over here. I think. We what need does to play go again? What does going platinum on your face mean? Well, because you know one of his most famous songs, he, he goes going platinum. Yeah, but what does that mean? Like on your face? Um. Oh yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> You're the, right. The, 
Oh, is that awful? It's like going ballistic, I guess. Meaning, like, I'm going platinum and somehow becomes this aggressive thing. Yeah. Your face is where I'm going to do it. Oh, wow. Okay, Jimmy actually may have explained it. But you shouldn't have to explain your morning zoo bit. I guess it's uh, taking it to the nth degree. Yeah. I like when people say that. Yeah. The nth degree. <laughs> I'm sorry I did that. Uh, I'm embarrassed that I did that. Yeah. That was the moose. Uh, Nate Sachs saying, morning zoo bit of the day, soon to be known as the shortest lived bit on o &A. <laughs> Yeah, please. No, I kind of like this bit. You like it? I kind of like it, yeah. Hey, really fast, it's morning zoo bit of the day Wednesday. Yes. And we're getting help from uh, the rest of America. We got uh, Trey Taylor, looks like, from Kansas. Uh, the Rod Ryan Show in Houston would have Tube's Day. Tube's Day? On Tuesday. Oh. And and what 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 is that? He'd drain someone's tubes onto his face. <laughs> <laughs> the stunt boy slash producer has to talk through a tube every Tuesday, and then he writes, yuck, yuck, yuck. Hey, I thought we did that. What? Yeah, but we did it as a goof. <laughs> That's what I mean. I hope people realize with all these themes we're coming up with is to mock the rest of radio. Like, didn't we do that at NEW? We decided to just talk into a tube but, all day or something. But it was... <laughs> But I don't think we... Did we call it Tubes Day? It, it was... Uh, Are you kidding me? It was a goof. <laughs> of course it was. Oh, that's, uh, that's uh, great. Uh, and, Tubes well, day. why don't we do this? It is Morning Zoo Bit of the Day. Yes. I think we got to change the name because we want to play more than one bit. Morning Zoo... Zoo. Bits. Bits. Oh, God, you're brilliant, Jim. Bits of the day. What? B-I-T-Z. Like, uh, and make the Z backwards. Yes. Make the Z backwards. Yeah, put the Z kind of backwards so right. it looks silly. And tilt it. I did tilt it. Nice. Like, uh, bits. Bits. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, can you do it now? What? Just what what it's called. Oh, it's called uh, Morning Zoo Bits of the Day. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear it being turned around? I did, and, and tilted. <laughs> <laughs> Steve-O uh, from Boston. The goddamn Patriots are still the best team. Why doesn't somebody go check the Colts? They put up a lot of points. Oh, they'll always just sit and defend everything. Dude. Please. You know what? If the Jets were doing it, we would be defending the Jets today. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But I, I would be. I'm not a Jet fan. Oh. All right, here we go. I hate Boomer. Uh, <laughs> Stupid jock. Here's the new, the next Morning Zoo bit of the day as part of Morning Zoo bits. <laughs> morning, morning Zoo bits. <laughs> it just fizzles out because, see, it fizzles out because you got to turn around and make it into a Z. Or, or is it a Z and then you turn around? But then wouldn't that be an S? Yeah. Oh, wow, there's a picture. Of me talking into a tube. <laughs> There's a picture of you doing Tubes Day. It's Tubes Day. It's true. <laughs> what the hell is that? You're Look, like and there's Opie hey! talking. Hey! Who ripped us off and actually made a bit of it? Well, it's got to be... That's sad. It's got to be a long time ago, because that shirt I gave to a homeless guy, God, it's got to be two years ago. And Anthony's dressed like Tiny Tim for, like, a Christmas story. <laughs> It was, the it was very <laughs> chilly. <laughs> uh, wow. Jeff from Staten Island, tell Boston to get over it. They suck, period. We got a, we got a thing happening. Uh, you realize that, right? It's uh, the whole country against Boston. It's That's, pretty much what it is. Well, Boston, come on. Let's go. You're getting killed here. Guys are being silly. That's, uh, that's what I love about doing a syndicated radio show. You get to talk to all the cities at the same time. So Boston's going at it with Staten Island today. The state of Staten Island. <laughs> Uh, here's here's the next uh, morning zoo bit. Uh, it's, uh, excuse me. It's called one of one of the. Well, no, I'm not saying the name. I'm just saying because now I got to do it. So it's like here's another morning zoo. Bit. I would go here's another one of the morning zoo bits. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's another one of the morning zoo bits. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of just kind of yeah. Bits. You know, when you want to impress your friends with a nice fart, and all of a sudden it just... Yeah. <laughs> quack, quack. That's how the name is. Morning Zoo Bits, Bits. of the Day. It comes from Kevin, 
and Virginia show on Wild 95.5. Wild. West, West Palm, Palm Beach, Florida. Oh, okay. This is called Hell No to H2O. <laughs> Hell No to H2O? Yeah. But that's water. Yeah. I think we need it. Yeah. To live. Lock up your sons. Lock up your daughters. Death is on the street, and it is called water, water, water. <laughs> Hell no to H2O! Hell no to H2O! It is an epidemic. Hell no to H2O! Hell no to H2O! Worse than cocaine! Hell no to H2O! Hell no to H2O! Man, it's got no taste! Hell no to H2O! Gotta go when you serve that H2O! Water's so bad, man, it makes me choke! So drop the bottle of water and pick up a Coke! In my opinion, if it was up to me, the whole wide world would take a bath in Pepsi! Water with sleaze causes Oof. disease More dangerous than killer bees So, man, it's worse than murder, murder, murder You know it's overrated I'm talking about hydration Rather have a can full of carbonation So pick up a soda, don't be a coward Water is worse than milk that turns sour Everybody knows cola gives you power Water's only good for taking a shower uh. So now... I must bow my head and pray to the soda gods, all up in soda heaven. Tell me heaven is like 7-Eleven, Mountain Dew, Coke, Sprite, and Sun Kiss, Dr. Pepper, Pepsi, and Sierra Mist. That's the kind of liquid I need in my life, which I can legally make Mountain Dew my wife. So this is a message across the land, say no to water, and yes to soda cans. Hell no to H2O, hell no do it all to day. H2O. It is an epidemic. Hell no to H2O, hell no to H2O. Worse than cocaine. Hell no to H2O, hell no to H2O. Man, it's got no taste. Hell no to H2O, gotta go when you serve that H2O. It is an epidemic, epidemic, epidemic. Uh, maybe this might be um, too bit. Well, that was pretty. That was I'm pretty not good. Take off. I'm reading. I'm reading. Uh, <laughs> I'm reading some pal talk comments. Oh, please and don't. one must have been a black guy because he just wrote, "You effing white people." <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Painful to listen to. Yeah, it was funny, but I mean, like, what? What? what, what? Well, like heaven, and it was like a uh, guy wants to make Mountain Dew his wife. I mean, it's, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you can't marry soda, silly. Shut up. <laughs> it's impossible. Wow. Uh, that's a guy who really doesn't like water, though. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> good God. How much do you love soda, pal? <laughs> <laughs> Are they black guys? Or uh, white guys? I don't know. What are they? I don't they know. They couldn't be black guys. No, Kevin's white. Virginia's white. If a black guy oh, okay. tried to say that, his melanin would fall off. Yeah. No. <laughs> black people can't rap that badly. It has to be us. That was really bad. Well, it's part of uh, Morning Zoo. Bits. I, I'm, I'm seeing that uh, what, what? Uh, huge unit said... Uh, well, he's suggesting the only people that should really like or sing that song are the Yates children. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that guy, uh, buddy, he was, like, naming sodas. Yeah. God, I'm trying to guys. Try some, try some decaf, buddy. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> well, look at this one. Yeah, what he's outrageous. <laughs> yeah, and no water. Oh. You take all your medicine with soda, pal? Easy, easy. <laughs> okay, also... Uh, Does he wash his face with Pepsi? Or <laughs> also, Lacey and Connor Peterson should probably sing that song, but wow. that's them and the Yates children. Yeah. And uh, who are the other ones? Uh, Susan Smith. The old Susan Smith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, back the van, back the van into a pool full of diet, diet <laughs> Shasta. <laughs> uh, Jeff from Houston, morning zoo bit of the day. Another one coming in. Howard Stern would have listeners wrap a bandana around their cars so right. chicks would flash their boobies. Yes. Hoo -hoo. We all know that. Uh, let's say hi to Glenn in Jersey. Glenn, what's up? Hey, hello? hello. Yeah, hi. Hey, Glenn. Oh, that's me. It's, uh, yo, I have a taser. I'll do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yo, hello? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I have a taser. I'll taser myself right now. Yeah? Where are you? I'm in my car because I'm a uh, big C from Roger, a couple of four. God, your guys suck. <laughs> they don't, let me through again. Yeah, don't hang up, I though. Howard, I 
love you guys. Jimmy Norton, you rule. You guys are the only reason I go to work in the morning to listen to you motherfuckers. Thank get you. Uh, get, get <sighs> someone to screen your phones better. I'm the same guy I'm going to keep calling. I don't know who he is, though. Oh, we don't. Re- but you say you're going to keep calling. But, but we don't know who you are. I don't even know who no, you are. Only you... Oh, you're the, I assume it's the same word that good. <laughs> I'm going to take my own. But you're not good because we don't know who you are. It's like, this is like the first time you've called for us. Yeah, like, know, it so it's not like, it's not like, oh my God, he's so good. Like, like to be fair, like back in the day when you got the Baba Booey, oh, wow, they got us again. But who's I Steve from it. Rochester? I love, or, I love everyone. I'm not going to taser myself. I haven't slept yet because I wanted to. No, we understand you're not going to taser yourself, but All right, well, yeah. the guy wasn't even. We uh, really don't know what that was about. I don't oh, I get it. So annoyed with people sometimes. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm right there with you if you pull a fast one. That's, you know, oh, you got us. But that guy's like, call up a radio show for the first time and then blurt something out and go, oh, I got you. Oh, boy, jeez, the screen. Oh, you got to screen the calls better, right? Well, what? Sounds like a soda drinker to me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're just amazing. Oh, a little water. gosh. Jimmy. <laughs> Incorrigible. Uh, that's a lot of calories. <laughs> you yeah. know. I hope you're having some diet, Paul. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too old. What are you? What are you, what are you crazy? <laughs> you wash your hair with uh, what? Hey, no. <laughs> hey, 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 Coca-Cola hair. <laughs> you know, you know, because water's bad. Uh, it's got no taste. <laughs> They say it right in the song. I think the morning zoo bits of the day might take off now. See, <laughs> so you guys didn't like it ten minutes ago. Now they're obsessed. Now we might Still be don't like it. <laughs> it. Stinks. Yeah. Hell no to H two O. Hell no to H two O. It is an epidemic. Hell no to H two O. Jimmy loves this. No That's great. H two O. Worse than cocaine. Hell no to H two O. Hell no to H two O. Man, it's got no taste. Hell no to H two O. Gotta go when you serve. That H2O. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you going to do? Leave the whole building? You're crazy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Serving water. I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> what are we going to do with the water cooler? <laughs> yeah, what are you going to talk about <laughs> if there's no water cooler? Get a soda cooler, <laughs> right? apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these guys need to chill out a little. Uh, <laughs> bit edgy, don't you think? Oh, <laughs> the FCC might be a coming. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Easy, guys. <laughs> Slow down a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you can't drive 55. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, it's official. Oh, it is? What is? We got a promo or a sweeper, whatever. Oh, yeah? From Tim. It's official. Oh, no. It's ONA's Wednesday Morning Zoo Bits of the Day. Wednesday Morning Zoo's Bits of the Day. Bits of the Day. <laughs> Hell no to H2O. Oh, thank God, some comic H2O. relief. Hell no to H2O. Hell what is that? No I don't know. Worse than cocaine. Hell no yeah, to H2O. Yeah, we all know it's worse than cocaine at this point. I, uh, <laughs> that, that, I don't know what the promo was. It was. It's all just a bunch of noises. Yeah. That's what morning zoos do. I actually like it. They just do a bunch of noises? They just, they just confuse you with a lot of sounds. <laughs> ah, to try to... Throw you off to make you think that you're actually listening, listening to something, to something of I, substance. I have to disagree with you on that one. That, mm. That's what they do exactly. All right. What is the Dudley and you can't tease me like that, Iraq? What do you got? Go back to that screen. Iraq. Iraq. E to the rock. He's an Iraq. Oh, now he's tease. panicking. Oh, he's panicking. It's tease rock. I know, but I'm gonna. I need a little radio tease here. Looks like you might have something. Oh, E Rock, he's panicking. Hey, Jerry, how many windows did you just open it all? Dudley and Bob in the morning. What is this going to be? What are you working on over there? It's a morning show out of uh, Austin, Texas, that uh, allows you to pay to be on their show. How much? Whoa. Uh, I'll double check, but I think it's like seven, eight hundred dollars. And then you pay, and you're able to go on their show and do what? And they teach you how to uh, be a professional radio broadcaster. Oh, whoa! We do that. Really? Yeah. And we got some examples? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that could be fun. All right. It is nice. a slow news day. We uh, also have Morning Zoo Bits uh, we're playing today. Right. Bits is... Yeah, well, <laughs> Tim didn't uh, put that part in the promo. Oh. The sweeper, unfortunately. <laughs> it's ONA's Wednesday Morning Zoo Bits of the Day. Open it up for me. Downloading digital audio files. Wednesday 
Saturday morning views, bits of the day, bits of the day. I'll be in it. It's nice to get Voss to introduce it. <laughs> and so far we gave the people, uh, we forgot the first one. What was it? The uh, Oh, the Kid Rock'em Sock'em. Kid Rock'em Sock'em. And then, of course, this fave. Hell no to H2O. Hell no to H2O. Why did they come up with this song that, about not liking water? What does it mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jimmy will explain in a second. He gets this stuff. Hell no to H2O. Man, it's got no taste. Hell no to H2O. Gotta go when you serve that H2O. <laughs> Is it a parody of something? I don't know. This guy's like, guy's like water. <laughs> What's next, pal? No more air? <laughs> That'll be the follow-up. Yeah, hey. Get out of air with all that air. <laughs> uh, this guy's got to cut it out. Well, we got one more for today, and then we'll rest the, uh, the morning zoo bits of the day for this fine Wednesday. It's Rockstar. Rockstar. Yeah. A rap bit about drinking Rockstar en Energy drink from the Dave and Jimmy show <laughs> on the cat in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, pull over, folks. <laughs> I asked uh, whoever got this, Sam, is this a live read? Is this a commercial? Because it's for the energy drink Rockstar, and, the, and they're telling me no. It, this is supposed to be a funny bit for their show. All right. Rockstar, here you go, from the Dave and Jimmy show on 104.5 The Cat in Lexington, Kentucky. The other day with the girls and like this guy's talking to me. He was kind of hot and he bought me this drink and I really didn't know what it was. So like I tried it. It looked like beer. It kind of smelled like beer, but it wasn't really beer. It kind of oh made me feel good. God. And then I wanted to dance and then I talked a lot and then we talked a lot and then we kind of kissed and then I danced oh some more and then we kissed and we God. talked and then my lips hurt, my jaw hurt, my hips hurt and I talked and I danced and I danced and I talked. Then we made out and then I touched Wiener and I didn't know what to do and then I just felt like a rock star. Haha. Uh -huh. Dump, 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 dump. This is awful. Oh my! I'm hooked. God. I like it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be on my iPod. Anyway, Jimmy gets it though. Jimmy yeah. gets this bit. Yeah, you have to balance this out. Hey, drink a little warm milk. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> You're not getting tits. <laughs> That's what 2007 needed. Another a Valley Girl song. <laughs> Yeesh. Um, someone is saying, it's on YouTube, that there's a parody to Hey There Delia, Delilah called Hey There Vagina. Is Wait a minute, good? didn't you do that like 20 years ago? I think so, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, Brother Joe doing the um, dry, Tom Jones dry, dry. version. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. we used to get away with <laughs> when we used to get away with whatever. We used to be able to get away with that on the radio. <laughs> Everything. Now we got to make up like stupid themes just to get through a day of radio. <laughs> Wait, you can't say dry. Ah, uh, no. Nope. Oh, ooh. Hey. <laughs> you can talk about it. You just can't describe it. <laughs> right. You is can't describe that, anything can't about describe, it. Okay. I got no, it. we we're well informed here, Stephen. <laughs> can you say that I got one a while ago that I was hoping a Chinese worker would stomp garlic into? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is coming in uh, rich from Manhattan. Quick, turn off the bit. Tom's going to ask for money for plugging Rockstar. <laughs> <laughs> good point, sir. Good point. You sure do know him well. But it's also uh, morning zoo bits. bits. How do you say it, Jimmy? Bits. Morning zoo bits, bits. bits. of the day Wednesday. <laughs> going to play a couple hacky morning uh, zoo bits for you today. Uh, and we focus on a uh, morning show in New York City. Oh, one of the, well. One of the bits we're going to be playing today is from Scott and Todd's morning show here in New York City. Well, then it's got to be um, genius. Oh, they're playing an OJ song parody that's just brilliant. Stop. 
So we'll be featuring that today. I probably shouldn't really goof on OJ song parodies. <laughs> I'd, be, oh. I'd be knocking ten if it wasn't. <laughs> and yours was terrific. Of course it was. It might was have, genius. We might have to dust that off oh, 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 and, oh. and play it. He is sitting in jail. It's Vegas. Well, of course, the OJ story is huge, so everyone's doing their OJ material on the morning zoo uh, shows. And uh, stupid Scott and Todd, I have no idea why they're still on the radio here in New York City. Wacky noises. They got an OJ song that is just, uh, just terrific. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. This is unbelievable. <laughs> you want to explain morning zoo bits of the day? Uh, well, they're, uh, st- they're, they're things, bits I- that you hear on your morning zoo shows. They're usually sent in by other people. Sometimes the staff of the morning zoo uh, gather together and do them themselves. But they always they have one thing in common. They always suck. Yeah. They're just bad, hack, hokey, um, just poorly done. Not funny. Yeah, we want to make it perfect. not entertaining. We want to, we want to make it perfectly clear that these bits suck, and it's a good test. Yeah, the bit we're about to play, if you actually enjoy it, you might not be uh, you might not uh, you might not be listening to the right radio show. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this might be the wrong show is, for you. This is how we test our listeners. So it's Scott and Todd here in New York City. If uh, you start laughing, yeah. please just change the station. It's Morning Zoo, uh, bit of the day from Scott and Todd here in New York City. It's the OJ song. Electric Shock OJ. Hey, wow. hey, that's uh, Anthony's song. From hey, that was mine. Oh. Hey, that was my friggin', I wasn't even in radio. <laughs> All right. Don't give me that <laughs> guff. And don't you worry, we're going back to pirate jokes in a second here. But <laughs> please. But first. Here's your morning zoo bit of the day. He should be locked up for life For what he did with that knife He wrote a book on the murder And said how he would hurt her If he had killed his wife And now he's back in the headlines He's been charged with robbery oh. His chubby face full of stubble OG Simpson's in trouble He's a good attorney Attorney Why did he do I, hold on, two seconds. I, I just gotta. I cannot stand me being a song parody smith. I hate when people fit words into song parodies by putting the accent on the wrong syllable. It's it's just to jet. Ja- they're jamming words in there. A turnee isn't the word. It isn't a turnee. It is. He's charged with robbery. Robbery. Yeah. A turnee. You can't charged do with robbery. that. That is the sign of a horrible song parody. It means you couldn't come up with something that really fit the way everybody talks. A turnee. You can't j- shoehorn words in like that. That's the only problem you have with this song. It's hysterically funny. That's funny. I'm funny. <laughs> it's lazy yeah, Scotch idiot. It's lazy song parodying. <laughs> song parodying. <laughs> All right. What? Are you, you are you serious? Get Renee in here. What happened? One of our stupid interns actually likes this song. No, she doesn't. I don't believe no. Renee likes this song. No, she now she's it. running away. You oh like- my god! Is that the latest picture of Scott and Todd? Yeah. All right, Scott looks like Rip Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he should be throwing confetti around. That's why you should never get a facelift because eventually, this is going to happen, dude. That looks like Rip Taylor from here. Yeah, because the rest of his face is still sagging, but the part that he tightened up uh, wow. can't sag anymore. His eyebrows look they're in perpetual mean phase yeah, <laughs> like yeah. when, you, when you draw a mean cartoon. Well, he's got cheekbones way up here and everything else is falling like yeah. a mudslide. He's trying to look younger and yet he's wearing a sweater vest. <laughs> a sweater Why vest. Why are you wearing a, a collar shirt and a sweater vest? Your favorite morning show host should never wear a sweater no, vest. That's called the that's called the outfit of the douche. Renee, you really like this song? I don't know why. It's, it's what? Catchy. I don't know why. It's it's, it, it's, catchy. it's catchy. So is AIDS. <laughs> so is a lot of songs. I don't know. And why did you have to cover up just to come in here? Because I'm a giant jerk and I was eating my Lucky Charms. 
Yeah. And a little marshmallow fell off and got me on my shirt. Not so lucky. But you was have a white out? shirt on, so who cares? Yeah. yeah, but it's down here. It looks stupid. Was it one yeah. of the pink ones? No, it was a yellow one. Yellow? So it looked... Uh, I know. So yeah. How do they know that, you, that Renee liked this show? Because uh, 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 Pat Duffy called her on it. Of Wait, course. And, and you used to listen to Z100 before you came here? I grew up on Z100. Yeah. I know. I know. But I don't listen to them anymore. So... Mm. I know. You, you attorney? You like attorney? <laughs> attorney? And I robbery? Just, I, 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 I like <laughs> robbery? The whole... Uh, the whole it's you know, stupid. Rock and, I know. It's really dumb, but... Of course he would call me on that. He murdered his <laughs> wife. Yeah, it's Awful. just, it's not really um, wife, life, good. attorney, robbery, robbery, yuckery. Is there, is there another good verse coming up? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Renee. Sorry that, that this is going to be your last verse? day. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't get the show. Yeah. We want <laughs> people you, that get the show. If you here. think this is funny. Um, I you're, know. You're lucky you're hot yeah. or you'd be... So gone by now. I think that the only right. way for her to stay is for her at one point in the show to denounce this song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It. But we we do it in a special way. Bring right, in the ahead. asparagus. Denounce it. Denounce it. That's one that's one from the old days. E Rock got it. So you gotta linger longer. Alright, thank you, Renee. No Alright, back to the yeah, song. She goes. Yeah, enjoy it. Antichrist. Antichrist. He's the Antichrist. Antichrist. You liked Anti. Antichrist. Ah, oh, it's so Again, adorable. shoehorn those words in. Antichrist. What? Some dumb hotel highs. Doge is through. He's the Antichrist. <laughs> if the running back was a horse, he would be glued. Yeah. Hey, O.J. Simpson. This might be the time. Bloody clubs don't matter. <laughs> it's about time that they make you pay. There's a cell for you at the county jail, and I hope that's just where you go. You'll be found guilty because this time there's no Judge Lance Tito. Oh, no Judge Lance Tito. What? I don't even know what the last word was. What? There's no Judge Lance Tito. Oh, why, Judge why? Lance. Tito, yeah. Why do you need Lance? Why not? There's, there's no Judge Edo. Why do you need Lance? Because uh, uh, it, it, it needed to fit the rhyme scheme. I don't know. Yeah, Ask someone who enjoys the song. Yeah, well, hey, man, you know, you're an expert on this stuff. Why uh, no, Lancey no, no. Tito? Yeah, why, why do you have to say Le Judge Lancey Tito? <sighs> uh, oh. All right, now that I... Yeah. Because I, li I like the whole... The whole vibe with it. I don't like the words or the actual parody of the yeah. song. It's you know it's not whole... cool to to like Blink-182 anymore, right? I haven't liked Blink-182 for a this very long time. This is like a Blink-182. You know, you look Ew. like a cute alfalfa Schweitzer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how Wonderful. that's possible, but it, it's just it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, take that as a compliment. All right, I will. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Renee, get lost. It's Opie right. and oh, Anthony. It's Whip Em Out geez. Wednesday. On the way, man, this story, as we were um, uh, preparing, uh, we like you, Renee. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, I'm she's sorry. Very, she's very nice. Okay, I try. Just you did walk very, very... away, Renee. Just walk away. <laughs> Leave the studio, yo. Could she, maybe Renee could bring another song. Studio. What? Maybe Renee could bring another song that she thinks is funny and redeem herself. Yeah, why don't you do that? I'm sure she has a sense of humor. There's something else. I'm yeah, find, th this is, yeah, this is your new bit. Bring in something that you find funny. Mm. I want to know what you find funny besides that piece of crap. You know you laughed at it the first time. She probably was like, so bring something else in you find funny. Every time I try and think about finding something funny, I go on every website possible. And we already did it. We already covered it. Covered it a long time ago. Did mm. something. Got to dig. Yeah, I I'm trying so hard. I'm looking every day. Yeah. Oh, there can so, be something. Right. I will I will do my right, best. Give it a shot. I will do my best. Thank and you. no help from Pat Duffy or any of the other. I will clowns not ask Pat you, Duffy for anything. You hang out with and gossip all morning with. <laughs> they do gossip. Oh, they just sit around just and gossip that and are clamoring over her. <laughs> they're all trying to figure out how they could, you know, trying to get with her. her. I don't get with her. 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 Trying to her. garner her attention. Man. When you're here, I see a lot more attention uh, in that uh, in that little room that you guys hang really? in. Really? Yes. What attention do you see that I don't? They all want it to really? get in your... I, 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 
I the booty. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the booty. Are they all for her yes, hand? <laughs> yes. Well, when Renee's in, we like to say it sounds like radio camp in here. Radio camp. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's laughing. It's just like you can just hear down the yep. hall. Everybody's trying to make her laugh and like uh, giggle. Yeah. Ew. They, just, they, they give you a lot <laughs> of attention. Who's the worst offender? On the, Who changes their demeanor the most? Renee should probably be able to feel that one. Yeah. Well, I, she doesn't see them when they're not either. like around you. No, because you know what? I, I don't want to get called out again. So Why not? <laughs> no. One of these guys have to know, like one of the guys that work for us, have to know which intern kind of changes the most. You wouldn't really notice because you don't see them when they're not around you. Good point. Right. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah, when they're around you, they're kind of kind of all clamoring. And I would, I would love to know what they say behind my back. Oh, well. Uh, oh, well. Who wouldn't? Yeah. Oh, you know. Who wouldn't? All right, we'll figure that out. Uh, you got, like you just know. gave us an idea. All right, all right Travis. Sounds good. I'll try to find something for you. <laughs> all right. Travis all right, has spoken. Now, now go fetch us something. Oh. All right. It's Opie and Anthony. Good job. This, uh, Jimmy wants us to play another one. Yeah, because uh, Renee thought it was funny. I mean, she heard it. I haven't heard it, but according to Renee, it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. So I say that we give it a shot because uh, she couldn't have two awful ones in a row. No. Well, no. morning zoo, bit of the day. You know, we, we, we gather these bits from these awful morning shows uh, across America, and uh, we give them a nice little highlight. <laughs> Isn't that nice of us? Yeah, we, we shine the spotlight on their, on their awfulness. <laughs> on, on the crap. <laughs> The big pile. <laughs> and we don't have to work as uh, hard. Let's be honest with each other. Of course. Another Scott and Todd bit from New York City. They've been on the radio for, what, 16 years with this crap? My God. Wow. Why do we try so hard? 16 years playing this crap. This is the one Jimmy wants to hear. Well, not, no, let's not blame me. Renee said that this was top-notch. Top and I quote, top-notch. Hilarious. 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 Oh. Can you do it in Blink-182 style, please? Hilarious. 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 Oh. Hilarious. <laughs> You're listening to Opie and Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Arnold on Broadway, everybody. Because if you do a morning zoo, you really got to focus oh on that Arnold God. Schwarzenegger impression. You know, the only time you should do an Arnold impression is when you're you're goofing on the actual Arnold guy. impression. Arnold impression. Or if yeah. you sound like Arnold. That's a good time to do it. If you sound like Arnold when you do it. Well, that's true, too. Hey. That's a plus. Hey, he sounds like Arnold during this I'm, clip. I'm not saying he doesn't. I'm only saying that like, cause I do a decent Arnold. I don't do... I oh, do look, can we hear it? Yeah, I, I, yeah Jimmy, please. I'll say this. No, my my Arnold is good. It's not great. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's hear it. I am the Terminator. Oh wow! <laughs> it's wow, Jimmy. Inspector Clouseau. <laughs> uh, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, it was, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I am. Uh, uh, <clears throat> let me try one. <clears throat> now we are going to do something extremely fun. Hey, that's really thank good. you. That was yeah, good. that was really good. Let me try one. <clears throat> I like turtles. Oh, it didn't really sound like him. I tried, though. <clears throat> Look, I'm going to be angry. I'm going to yell. Okay. You like discipline. <laughs> See? All right. That's how you do now it. I'll do mine. You like discipline. No, it's, it's, it's like this. You like discipline. You like discipline. You like discipline. You like discipline. <laughs> All right, you're losing it. All right, can we get this out of the way? Out uh, of the way. <laughs> it's Arnold on Broadway. Another awful Morning Zoo bit, because it is Morning Zoo Bit of the Day Wednesday. The World Stage, The Great White Way, Broadway. And coming soon to the king and I, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, for the first time ever, you can hear Arnold's actual audition. Okay, Arnold, you're Daddy Warbucks. This little adopted wench comes into your house with her mangy dog. At first you hate her, but then there is love. Cue the music and action. I'll rip off your head, little girl. Squish your puny melon like a sausage. I'll shoot your dog. Uh, no, 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 no. Cut! 
Cut, cut, cut. Shoot your dog, Arnie. You're, okay, you're way off here. Be, be tender, can't. loving. <laughs> Schwarzenegger auditions for Broadway. <laughs> I'll be balcony. <laughs> I'll be balcony. Oh, God, look, look, look. I'll be balcony. <laughs> My arms just got all goosebumpy. <laughs> oh, you don't get it. I'll be balcony. Instead, instead of back. He said, I'll be back. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Playoff, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Holy God, <laughs> sixteen effing years of that, of that old, old <laughs> basset hound burn victim gels probably <laughs> laughed it up, although you couldn't tell with his non-moving face. <laughs> oh, wow. that was pretty bad. What's <laughs> morning show bathroom Wednesday? Hell no to H two O. Hey, that's all right. <laughs> Way to go, Tim. Yeah, it's uh, morning zoo bits of the day. Mm -hmm. We got a, uh, we got one more to play. Well, no, we'll probably play a few more today. Of course we will. We got Motel 666 on the way. Oh, God. <laughs> I wonder where that'll go. Motel 666. I, I have no <laughs> idea where that's going to go. Motel 666? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's probably devilishly funny. Ah, oh, oh, I get it. Uh, hysterical. Uh, hold on, hold on one second. Uh, Earl in New York. Earl. Yo, while you guys were uh, doing your, uh, talking about Scott and Todd, I flipped over to them. Their morning show bit this morning was, guess the song medley being sung in pirate speak. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone enjoying the uh, international talk like a pirate day. Oh. Are you kidding? Can we get that? That is your morning zoo bit of the day right there. Yeah. Thank you, Earl. You're welcome. Oh. What song is this? Arr, I've had me some facelifts. Me looks like a burn victim. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Stupid frightened eyes. Uh, <laughs> Yo ho ho and a bottle of Botox. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that Higher, there's a parrot on me sweater vest shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> you douche. <laughs> oh god. Sixteen effing years. Oh, it's just horrifying. Boring the hell out of New York for sixteen effing years and no one has noticed. Yo ho ho and a mouthful of well you know <laughs> it ain't rum. Arr. Is that an eye patch? No, it's me pubes. I've had quite a few facelifts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go to the website if you want to see a a facelift. Maybe ten years ago it looked good, but you know, now everything else that wasn't facelifted is falling. Arr. Falling hard. When you look at the website. You think it's the Rocky Dennis and Todd show? <laughs> Why did Ben pull the pins out of ye map? Ye, <laughs> ye treasure map. <laughs> you know, if you do a morning show and you, you do the old publicity shot, you shouldn't look like a, an old, like, gay queen with your young gay lover. Uh, right? His jowls. Look at that. Looks like he's been in the water too long. It's down at Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> Arr, the blind girl felt my face. It <laughs> 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 is. That, that, that head. <laughs> oh, he is a giant. What a fat head he is. And it's all pulled up tight. Until you get right below the mouth line, pretty much. No, well, yeah. Like the nose right area. Right under the nose, because the yeah. cheekbones are still high, yeah. but everything else is dropping. He needs those nipped. They're like, they would be like two big chicken cutlets that would come out of there. <laughs> Arr, me face has a saddlebag on it. Arr. <laughs> Wait till you text them, and we'll tell you what his face looks like. Arr, yes. <laughs> Old scrotum bag. <laughs> <laughs> I am having a craving for pancakes. Just have the stupid pancakes. pancakes. I know what it is. They're driving us all nuts with the pancakes. Enough about the pancakes. It's from looking at that stupid oh, wow. Scott and Todd website. His big 
his flat pancake face is making me want a short snack. The jowls look like pancakes hanging from his cheeks. They do. Old short snack face. <laughs> hey, flapjack cheeks. It's the flapjack face in time. Uh, Kenny, go fetch Jimmy some pancakes. Oh, is that him from when? 1968? I don't know. Is it really? I was kidding. Oh, my God. What year is that? He, uh, uh, he, Scott Shannon did some things in this business, but hasn't done much in the last, I don't know, 10, 12 years. I'm not saying, he's, he might have been a great radio guy. He looks very British. I just don't like his face. And I like the fact that he, I heard he badmouthed my show, so I'll never like him. What happened? I Jimmy? just he did? What? What? I heard he gave what? Lucky Louie a bashing, what? so I'll never like him. Really? That's right. Really? Uh-huh. He I'll didn't find it hilarious. I just, that's fine, but All just, right. my feelings were hurt. Well, um, we can play more of his uh, morning zoo bits All that right. are much funnier than Lucky Louie. I would like to hear one. Would you? Yes. Would you? Would you? What? It's uh, morning zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Can you fix it? What? <laughs> Best line from The Hills Have Eyes. Yeah. The remake. Uh, morning Zoo bit of the day Wednesday. We're uh, just kind of showcasing some of the horrendous bits that uh, morning zoos do. On a on a daily basis across America. Today we're focusing on New York City. Yes, we try to we try to play a few from all over the country, but today it's all about the uh, awfulness, uh, facelift and Todd. What's <laughs> <laughs> morning show Beth? Wednesday. Hell no to H two O. Hell no. Why we all be an hour show? There, there you go. They That's nice. Up. And, uh, well, they just aired a uh, a Britney Spears song because uh, oh, well, she's all the rage. Topical. Lip syncing, dancing horribly. Kind of Doing chubby. drugs, uh, rumor has, in front of her children, being naked in front of her children. And now they're saying the latest on her is that uh, random drug testing for Britney Spears. Wow. Drug and alcohol testing. For Weekly. What? So she, what does she do that she needs to be drug tested? So she could keep her kids. Oh, it? to be a mom? To be a mom, yeah. Oh, okay. By the way, excellent call, Iraq. The guy. Well, was that Madam? It's Whalen Flowers and Madam. He looks like Madam, <laughs> the big puppet with the scrot chin. <laughs> it's the Madam and Todd show. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow, that's really bad. Oh, you know, what, you know what his face reminds me of, too? Remember when Lecter put on Pembry's face? Oh, oh yeah, yes. there you go. That's who he yep. looks like. He looks Pembry. like Pembry. God, I, Pembry. I, I wouldn't have known that Pembry thing. Well, the only reason I remember, talk to him, that's Pembry, damn it. Yeah. Uh, here we go. So, uh, morning zoo bit of the day. We've been focusing uh, bits of the day. So, uh, another Scott and Todd. So, the Britney Spears, you know, all the all the rage right now. So, they have a Britney Spears song. And uh, Sam's telling me it's just as good, translation bad, right? as the OJ song we played a little while ago. Well. Let's take a listen. Another morning zoo bit. <laughs> Who laughed okay. in the right, right, uh, right, 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 Who laughed right, in the background? Right. Look. <laughs> no. Was Renee was Renee no. here when they recorded this? <laughs> well, can I tell you something about Scott and Todd and E Rock, who's a student of radio, will back me up. Todd does everything for the show. I mean everything. Yeah. And Scott's whole job is to laugh. To giggle behind it. No? You're shaking the head? It's not Scott laughing. Oh, so he won't even. La so he doesn't even laugh. No, he, he can't. Can. His face won't allow it. <laughs> his, 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 won't the allow way it. he laughs is this: his mouth opens and ah. That's how does Scott laughs. <laughs> He's laughing at you, man. <laughs> Old porcelain doll face. Uh, Boogie Fat Hummel. Boogie in Richmond. This is for the people that linger longer. If your name is Wayland. <laughs> That's who's laughing, Joe Noll. Is Joe Noll that fatso? He's the he's the beach ball that does their uh, traffic. Yep. Oh, Joe Nolan is a fatso. <laughs> what happened, Joe him. Nolan? Nolan? Get a load of fatso there. He looks like the uh, the the thing that crashes through your wall yeah. and and offers you a refreshment. <laughs> Joe Joe Nolan the what? 
Kool Aid. Kool Aid. Yeah, that, well, I like yes. to just say that thing. The big that thing. scares the crap out of you, thinking you you need a refreshment at there's a given ch- moment. There's a giant talking pitcher. Yes, <laughs> with with a, a refreshing beverage in it. <laughs> Joe Nolan should be frozen to death in a bowling alley. <laughs> I despise Joe Nolan. Isn't it a movie theater? Yeah. Joe Nolan. Oh, bowling alley too. I think. Should well, we? Yeah. All right. Let's One start our two. Let's start our Joe Nolan bashing. Yeah, <laughs> Not Joe Rock's freezer. No room. <laughs> let's go with the Joe Nolan. No Joe door. Nolan bit. Joe Nolan should offer his services to grammar schools everywhere. So they could roll him around the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the giant, the stupid, big, stupid ball, right? With the parachute. We're accepting your Joe Nolan uh, jokes. Joe Nolan should loan his body to the Hayden Planetarium <laughs> in case they have to take down the sun display. <laughs> they should just prop him up. This is the sun if it had a head and legs and arms and a bad suit. <laughs> he is indeed. A fat so. Joe Nolan. Joe is, Nolan should offer his services to Shea Stadium. He's a <laughs> chuckling fat man. There's nothing worse than a chuckling fat man. <laughs> Can we hear that again? His laugh. Like, yes. He laughs at like she's, she's a sleazy mother. A sleazy, sleazy mother. mother. <laughs> da, 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 da. And then I'm sure they'll fucking oh, look at me. <laughs> like I said yesterday, my rules yesterday. Yeah. Hold on, let it go through. <clears throat> You can't I say that. I want to apologize, but it is. You can't say that. Yeah. Uh, Wednesday. My, and my ruling is, once you get past the you, <laughs> it's pretty much the word. <laughs> so, yes, I did uh, uh, inadvertently drop the uh, f bomb. I want to apologize to anybody uh, that might have heard that and been offended. Why didn't you laugh at my Mr. Met joke? Uh, I didn't get it. Oh, Shea Stadium. I didn't get you. Didn't get, get details. I enough. don't like to give a lot of details with some of my jokes. I, mm. I'm a thinking man's uh, comic. <laughs> <laughs> thinking. There's actually a comedian that books himself as that. The thinking. Are man's you kidding? No, he's on Sirius Radio. I think he's he's, he's like, I think his name is Hofstetter or something. He's like the yeah. thinking man's comic. <laughs> some of these things I like people to try to think about it for a while. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, Shea Stadium. I'm thinking the big apple that comes out of the hat. Well, that could work too. See? Hey, that could be like. All right, forget it. Here we Joe go. Nolan. Let's get back into it because she's a sleazy lover. Sleazy mother. Mother. Get, oh, mother. Get, get it. Right. right. Oh, that, God. It's not Sorry. funny the other way. <laughs> what? The big yellow one's Joe Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> Axel Rosenberg <laughs> from MySpace. Axel Rosenberg. <laughs> the big yellow one. Oh, boy, here they come. Joe Nolan jokes. Uh, Mark in Jersey, yes. Yeah, Joe Nolan is the before for exercise equipment. All right, enough of the Joe Nolan jokes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Mind alter ring drug. Mind alter ring drug. Stop! But it's mind alter. It's the worst thing to do in a parody. Parodies. I that love is, that you're. I love that you're oh. pointing this out because now it's going to make this crap funny for people when they hear it on other. It things. is the worst thing you could do. The biggest crime you can commit in song parody writing is is throwing. It's called shoehorning the words in. You want it in there, it doesn't fit, you're too lazy or, or uncreative, you can't figure out another way to do it, so you just shoehorn it in by putting the accents in different spots so it doesn't even resemble the word anymore. Oh, that annoys me. Sausage, sausage, sausage link. <laughs> it, he could be the the guiltiest person I've ever heard that writes song parodies. Yeah. Of this crime. Yeah. Way to pick up on that. It makes it that much oh. better. Sausage link. <laughs> oh. Who talks like that? Joe Nolan should be rolling through a cave after Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. There you go, Redding. All right, thank you, Wood Floor Liquor. Jen, uh, Joe Nolan equals Mr. Met. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for helping me out. And Joe Nolan's hair 
when you look at his hair, it's like a perfect Lego person head. <laughs> Lego hair. Look at his awful. His yeah. hair is atrocious. Snaps that that picture is old too, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's when he only weighed about. 220. Fat load Joe Nolan is sitting there with Lego boy hair and his hand is gently propping up his cheek like yeah. he's thinking. Yeah. Hmm. He's a thinking man's weather laughing douche. Why are weathermen always fat pigs? I guess because they know when it's going to be like bad weather so they stay in. No. I had nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, of all, the, uh, of all the endless possibilities, I found none. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe it. That joke really bombed. <laughs> really bombed. Because I didn't have a punchline. A from, punchline. Tom from Philly. Joe Nolan is the backup apple for Fruit of the Loom ads. <laughs> <laughs> the understudy. Uh, and uh, people are wondering, why didn't they pick a less relevant song for their song parody? I know, right? Uh, I hate phone scams. All right. Here's a funny phone. Right. <laughs> Wait, we didn't do Motel 666. Okay, okay. We're right. running out of show. You're right. Damn. I had a funny phone. Yeah. Ring drug <laughs> All the ring drugs. Jesus, easy mother. Her chubby legs look like sausage flakes. Oh. <laughs> she forgot how even to lip sync. She's the kind of girl who looks great. <laughs> When it's talking real late, and she'll let you see it. Oh my God! But no one wants to see it. Oh, God. See it. Yeah. Oh. Well, they had they're to get, doing a they had Gregorian to, chant. Well, they had to get to the end of that to get yeah. it in. See, see it. it. To see it. Oh my God! <laughs> one trust to win two straight cats. Why? They might be what? P. P. Diddy's. Why? Well, they're it, not because they, they're, they're as white as could be. You dope. Why? There was it's never not any even a hint of black in our Absolutely. kids. There was never even a story that they weren't. Well, it's because P. Diddy fit better, <laughs> fit in the lyrics there. No, so Kevin so Federline's and kids. And she has saggy. They, there's a lot more they could have done. Yes, right, right. yes, yes. They might be P. Diddy. Shambles, it's a master disaster. Britney looks like her best days and faster. She smells like wine. She's a punchline. Oh, well, at wow. least at least she is. Whose eyes are bloodshot and her brains fried? The man of brother All she's missing is a double one. She's a sneezy Scott and Todd. In the <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, God, of course. Scott and you got to get that in before oh. people hear the end of the song oh, coming yeah, and tune out. Because, God, they, they need to know where that <laughs> song was heard. I want to know why Fat Joe Nolan is just laughing up a storm in the back. Ha 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 ha! Ah, fat bitch! Ha ha ha! Yes, she's. Uh, oh, oh, she's a terrible mother. Yes, that's great. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jesus Lee. Uh, can we end uh, morning zoo bits of bits day Wednesday with this fine one and this, and then we'll say goodbye to a bunch of people here. I like morning show bits. Is, is. Hey, this is taking off. Remember, Buffalo, wake up. We need uh, the lobster loose thing for next week. Wake up, Buffalo. That's Snorton Norton. Crap. Snorton Norton's big bit. Bits. Bits. Is, is. Well, uh, we go to Z100 for the last one of the day. We do. I guess we're focusing on New York City today. Yeah. This is uh, Motel 666. <laughs> Six. Yeah. I wonder where it goes. You uh, can't hear the um, title, and I'm thrown. I have no idea what kind of bit this will be. Uh, yeah, there's Motel 6s out there. Yeah. This is Motel. You add two more 6s to the name. 
And it, and what happens? I guess it becomes a different motel. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's what I'm thinking over here. Oh, play it. I'm so curious. Are you a Satan worshiper? Oh. Of darkness, planning a vacation to hell, Hades, or New Jersey? Ah, then you Jersey. need to stay at the place that from. I, I gotta. I gotta talk to a dummy. Hold on a second. Uh, Colleen and Beth Page, what's up? Hi. How you doing? Good. Hi. What's up, dummy? <laughs> Why call me dummy? Now, what do you have for the show? I'm Gender. Sorry. Uh, I, I just think P. Diddy's in the song because uh, he's helping producer. He's trying to get her out there again. Like, he keeps trying to hibernate, and now they want he, he's the one that's trying to get her out there to get her. Yeah, yeah. But, but the line was, it could be P. Diddy's kids. It could be P. Diddy's kids. And but at this they're... point, everyone has seen Britney's kids, and maybe there's not a hint of blackness assume, in them. Maybe they're trying to assume that P. Diddy's hooking up with her. Oh, should we have to really think that hard <laughs> during? <laughs> but the that, line was that yeah. could be P Diddy's kids, meaning they already hooked up and had a yeah. couple of kids. Oh, oh yeah. wow! And hence why I'm calling you dumb. Then you need to stay at the place that promises to give you a pentagram in every room. <laughs> Motel Get it? six six six. I love Motel 666 because you can stay the whole week just for the price of your firstborn. And I just love how roomy the beds Why? are. They've got queen, king, and prince of darkness size. <laughs> Why? But they well, sound well, like... I, I, don't, I don't get prince of darkness size. Uh, how big is that? How big is that? Prince of know. darkness isn't known to be, like, huge. No. It's not like a giant. They're they're known to be dark. It's and what, evil. And those people sound um, like reasonable. They didn't sound crazy or evil. Why would they be staying at such an evil place? I don't understand. I don't know about you, but I'd be frightened to stay in the dark. I motel. would be scared if I was a reasonable person like these people sound. Yeah. Guys, no Motel 666 location has a pool, but they all give you a bloodbath. Ah. <laughs> a pool and a bloodbath. I'd sell my soul to stay at Motel 666. Did ya? <laughs> I loved Motel 666. My only complaint was that I couldn't find any ice. Just buckets of water. Most motels have an Oh, because the ice... Wait, wait, because the ice... Did it melt? Yeah, because the ice melts because... Because they're uh, in hell. Yeah. And, and hell's hot. hot. Right but then. wouldn't it just, like, instantly evaporate away? Yeah. Because it's so hot in hell... Yeah. ...that even water would just uh, vaporize. You really wouldn't have water in hell. <laughs> but how do you... if the water didn't vaporize, then hell wouldn't be all that hot, and it wouldn't be that bad a place. Yeah. This is Elvis Durant's crap. Of an exercise room at Motel 666. Oh. We provide you with an exorcism room. Cool. Oh. So the why? next time someone tells you to go to hell, why not stay at the next best thing? Motel 666. Motel 666. We get it. We'll leave the hellfire on for you. <laughs> I got one for you. Motel 666 sucks, sucks, sucks. <laughs> yeah. I can't understand as an artist on any yeah. level why you would do this. It isn't funny yeah. or interesting. Or no. Fun. It, it's, it's, it's just words. It stinks. All right. We're on to something with the uh, Morning Zoo bits of the day. Nice. It's Morning Zoo bit of the day Wednesday. And I want to make it perfectly clear, say it again here, these bits we, we think are god-awful. Don't get confused and sit there and crank up the radio expecting to hear some uh, a fine piece of comedy. Oh, no. Well. What's the name of the show? <laughs> oh, my God. The Morning What? Our stupid Danny. Because uh, <laughs> I'm looking at Davey the show killer. Yeah. Who is on this uh, zoo. It's, it's just called the Zoo... It's just the morning zoo, or the morning zoo out of Vegas. Yeah. Morning zoo thing, and I'm looking, and there's a Davy, the show killer, dressed up like a Borat in the Borat bathing suit thing. Yeah, and then uh, I have here, our it's labeled our stupid Danny. <laughs> it's the same costume. Yeah, well, they, Danny <laughs> wore the same costume at our at our Halloween party. Yes, he did. Well, this zoo show has Chet. Oh, God, they look like twins. <laughs> 
They got Chet, who I would assume is the main host. They got Lauren, the, the little female, the female hole to just keep everything uh, safe yeah. and between the lines. You know the oh guys type of uh -huh. crap. And then you got Davey, the show killer. Well, you can almost see their uh, their uh, little bulletin board behind them with bit ideas. Jesus, if we can only enhance that, we could get some good bits. Oh God, I wish we could. Damn. Where? Any comments on uh, Davey the show killer or Chet? Well, what or is Lauren? Chet's helmet? Is that a Transformers helmet? Yeah, he's got a Transformers helmet in, on in this picture. Something like that. Huh? Are we gonna play this stupid bit or what? Yes. Because now Nikki Six is here. Come on. All right, uh, so it's the morning zoo out of Vegas, and, uh, well, they came up with a song called Britney Got Fat, oh, God. based on, you know, what she looked like at the uh, VMA. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen to the intro. It's great. It's amazing. Here we go. Here is your morning zoo bit of the day. Oh, my God. Did you see Britney Spears? She looked so fat, yeah, but in a, in a good way, kind of like more cushion for the pushing kind of fat, you know, eager to please kind of fat, uh, I'd hit it. Oh, uh. de definitely, I'd hit that. And then, of course, she's a single mom, so obviously she's easy. But, you know, my only question is, how do I get some of that? I like Big Brit, and I cannot lie. With booty shorts and big thighs. When Britney walks in with a chunky monkey gut and a cellulite covered, but I get sprung. Well, Britney loves cream puff. She knows her face, she's stuck. And pennies she won't be wearing. Showing her pickled hair and old Britney. Won't you get with me? Have the bed at Chini. That skinny Lindsay Lohan bores me. But your love handles makes me. She's so horny. Oh, she's a single mom. Britney got it going on. Eating pizza and smoking from a bong. I want to be on you. We'll share some lasagna in the back seat while your kid drives my Honda. My Anaconda oh. don't want none that Britney weighs a ton. You can do Tybo or Pilates, but please don't lose that gut. Us Weekly says you're fat, but I ain't down with that. Uh. Britney has some more fried chicken. Those Cinnabons don't be skipping. Tell Jenny Craig to scat, because carbs is where it's at. Britney's got fat. Oh, my. Britney's got fat. Britney's got fat. Britney's got fat. Is it mandatory we hear the whole thing? Britney's got fat. Oh, yeah, look, Jesus. I don't want... <laughs> I like turtles. Yes. No, I know. We know. We know. Has, has Nikki arrived? Yes. Okay, so what's going to happen is he's going to listen to the green room and hear this and think we're a bunch of fruits. And think like that's uh, what our show is about. Yeah. Nice. Oof. You should know better. That could be interesting. <laughs> not, we're not that edgy. <laughs> 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 There's your uh, morning zoo bit oh, of the day. Horrid. Brittany got fat, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe shows are doing that. Oh, I thought you were going to say I can't believe shows are actually doing stuff. Stuff? <laughs> yeah. Well, if it's that kind of stuff, that is horrid. Yeah. Also, we're waiting for Sam uh, to bring in this week's Morning Zoo bit of the day. Oh, I forgot how busy Wednesday is. Oh, my God. Did you see Britney Spears? She looked so fat. Yeah, but in a, in a good way, kind of like more cushion for the pushing kind of fat, you know, eager to please kind of fat. Uh, I'd hit it. Oh, de definitely, I'd hit that. And then, of course, she's a single mom, so obviously she's easy. But, you know, my only question is, how do I get some of that? I like big Brit, and I cannot lie, with booty shorts and big thighs. When Britney walks in with a chunky monkey gut and a cellulite covered, but I get sprung. Britney loves cream puff. She knows her face, she's stuck. And pennies she won't be wearing, showing her pickled hair and old Britney. Won't you get with me? Have the bed at Chini. That skinny Lindsay Lohan bores me, but your love handles make me. She's so horny. Oh, she's a single mom. Yeah, that was wow. that was last week's uh, morning zoo bit of the day, and uh, we had a tough time finding one for today. We're still waiting to let the lobster loose, but Buffalo is yeah. sleeping on us. We want to do Larry Norton's uh, getting the lobster loose. Or Larry Norton, letting the lobster loose. 
All uh, he does is say it all day and then well, and then play a movie clip. We're trying to get audio of it because uh, you, you can't do it justice without audio. So hopefully next week we'll have that as our mornings are bit of the day. Uh, so it was a little slow. So of course Sam went to uh, uh, to the to the tried and true there, right? Yeah, luckily uh, Scott and Todd started popping up their <laughs> song parody of the day. Oh, they are. Nice and early. They are a proven hack schlock morning show. See, we wanted to maybe you know feature another awful morning zoo from across America, but uh, couldn't find anything, so you go right to Scott and Todd. They never disappoint with, the their, source. with their awful song parodies. So what, what's this one? This, uh, I guess Scott and Todd didn't like the cavemen either. But instead of just talking about it, yeah. they went ahead and wrote a song. Well, you should. Yeah. A song. Yeah. Oh, this is kind of... Now, now, wait the a minute. The song is called The Cavemen Sucked. I didn't really... I don't know if there was a title, but that's the title that I thought of for it. But uh, didn't this show air last night? Yes. So between then and now, they wrote... And recorded. And recorded this song? I don't know whether to hate them or try to hire them. Yeah, I know. Wow, that's... <laughs> It's ambitious. You mean they actually work on their radio show? Look at that. What a concept. All right, well, here we go. Scott and Todd, here is your morning zoo bit of the day. Mm -hmm. Caveman has now accumulated from TV critics a collective negative four stars. Excellent. That's <laughs> Caveman. Hate to say we told you so, but Caveman is a stinker. I wasn't before the show, but now I'm a big drinker. Big corny joke delivered by three hairy guys. Halfway through, I wanted to scratch out my own damn eyes. 30 minutes of your life that you'll never recover. It's like listening to opera sung by Danny Glover. Listening to... Oh, my God. Again, they're just shoehorning words in there. Oh like listening to... Oh, my God. It's like, listening. Like, like listening. Why Danny Glover... Because it rhymed. How about, there's so many people. How about Danny Glover hasn't been in a movie in 10 years? No yet. one has thought of him since oh Lethal Weapon 4. Wow. When he tried to hail a cab with Dinkins. <laughs> no one has thought of Danny Glover. <sighs> oh, is this awful. And, and you know, when you write a song parody, please, make it to something like uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> Expialidocious. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to opera sung by Danny Glover no. Give the show and take your kitty shopping down at the mall Cause if you watch this show you'll need extra strength Tylenol oh. Tylenol, oh come on, you can't make song parodies like this Oh god, does that rile me up Why? Wait, he tried to, what was that? The mall, shopping at the mall Extra strength Tylenol That's pretty funny that line Tylenol <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> and you'll never recover. It's like listening to opera sung by Danny Glover. <laughs> so the show and take your kitty shopping down at the mall. Cause if you watch this show, you'll need extra strength. Tylenol. Oh, <laughs> Tylenol? Tylenol. Well, the kids at the mall shopping, it's gonna give you a headache. <laughs> at the mall. Uh, Tylenol. That's good. Oh. Listening. Listening. <laughs> yeah, Danny Glover was in the first Saw movie. You're right. They just oh, Saw? bash that. They bash those uh, words in. Danny Glover wasn't in the first uh, Saw, was yeah, it? He was. Yeah. I thought no, it was the. About him. I thought it was the other guy. He was a cop. Yes. I'm a cop, you idiot. I thought it was the other uh, black guy. I always get confused with Danny Glover. Um. um Desmond Wilson. Uh. Uh. No. Red Fox. Yeah. Danny Glover's part was really stupid in the Delroy first song. It made no sense. I think they just wanted like a <clears throat> star to be in the movie. I'm oh, very good. <laughs> if you laugh at this one, there's a good chance you're a psycho. The writers of Cavemen should apologize to Geico. ABC's in trouble if you won't come sell your stock. Because Cavemen might be more horrible than Cop Rock. Hey! A rubble? How about because this show sucks my and then you beep it? Right. But but this show could be more horrible than cop horrible rock. Horrible than cop rock. The topical reference. Cop yeah, rock I know. was not that was one of the first jokes I wrote was cop rock. That's like nineteen ninety. Really? Was that before Chunky Monkey and Obese Primate? Obese Primate. 
It was the same, same writing era. Yeah, yeah, Jim Norton was a disgusting, fruit, awful writer era. Oh, oh, oh God. Pop rock. Man, they should have called it. What? Purple pants. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore. Tell Sam to get out of the studio and start rehearsing for Soul Man 2. No makeup required. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Can we get to the end of the song? Yeah, that, 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 that. Oh, please. Hey! You will crack a smile unless someone tickles your feet. You'll get more enjoyment out of a piece of spoiled meat. All they are oh. is three idiots who can stand a good shape. Fred and Wilma Flintstone are rolling over in their grave. Yabba, yabba. Tuesday nights on ABC are just downright dramatic. The only if you can see these network executives need a lobotomy. This thing is beyond help and these last breaks from a pastor. It's an understatement to label this a disaster. My ball. I've learned my lesson and I'll never watch this show again. If you missed it, thank your lucky stars and a boy cave Scott and Todd. I like turtles. Oh, yeah. I like turtles. Oh, uh, yeah. At this point, so do I. So do I. I got it. You know what? I got to give them production value. They really, like, know how to put a song together as far as um, vocally and mm -hmm. musically. The harmonies were good. You could understand the words, unfortunately, but you could. Uh, backup vocals, things like that. Uh, he does this in his <coughs> studio in his basement. Oh, really? He sees. Ma, I got to do this now. I'm making a song for PLJ Mom. <laughs> All right. Wow. There's your morning zoo bit of uh, the day. Just taking a lump hammer to those words. Why don't we? Bash him in a sledge. Can we get the same music bed? Yeah. On PLJ. Uh, on PLJ. Not right now, but I was saying, can we and possibly... Uh... Someone's asking, what's up with the laughing underneath? Isn't that uh, Todd laughing at his own stuff? Um, it's Todd, it's the traffic guy, and Scott. They laugh to uh, show you where it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> E-Rock! And I guess so no other station can play it without them being on it. Well, that's fine. Because a lot of stations are going to want to play that. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll showcase their mm. stuff every once in a while. He has a comedy network, and he does syndicate this to other stations, either with his voice or the lyrics so other people can record it. Oh, I'd love to do that. Yeah, how much Write is that? a little that? song about Scott and Todd I don't know, to that music. a lot of money off of it. Well, of course he does, as he should. He's laughing all the way to the bank. That's what right. What the F? What the F, right? <laughs> right, Rock? What the F? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Stuck in your head. Let me today. think. I'm gonna. How do I fit that word in? I kept. Oh, sh Mom! I'm not gonna lower it. I have to do this now. <laughs> in this basement. I gotta figure out a word that rhymes with this, but it doesn't fit in the music. I Mom, please stop calling me. <laughs> Ma! I gotta fit Danny Glover in this song. Danny oh, Glover. Danny Glover. Like listening to opera by Danny Glover. Oh, Glover. oh, awful. If a white chick goes out with him, she'd be called a <laughs> yes, lover. Is, have to... <laughs> 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 oh boy, why couldn't this have come out? Why couldn't Caveman have come out before April? <laughs> <laughs> I know. We would not have stopped. The I Man's going to be back on radio very soon. Uh, right. Yeah. Very soon. He's going to be working for uh, WABC I here in New so. York. I've heard, read the same things on uh, online. I really? get my info from what, a different source, what's not gonna the newspaper, Jimmy. What's going to happen to the morning show over there now? Huh? What's going to happen to the morning show over there now? <laughs> e oh. Well, think? flip my beret. <laughs> really? What's going? We'll put them in afternoons. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll move maybe around. in afternoons. Maybe they will make some more room for Don Imas. <laughs> <laughs> and will Bernie Mogurk be with him now because he's back? <laughs> oh my God, that guy sucks. His writing is. T why does he? Why does he just write things? And it's almost as horrible as cop rock. 
Hop Rock? Cop Rock, yeah. Why do you take a 17-year-old movie? Is yeah. that the last awful thing? Yeah, you can't think of anything else that rhymes with that. Cop Rock. Uh, as awful as my partner's face work. <laughs> How about that? How about the Rocky Dennis you're working with? <laughs> Stupid. As horrible as Super Train. <laughs> so we even went older with a reference to a show. Let's say hi to Nick in Texas. Right. Nick, what's up? Remember Super Train? Good morning, no, gentlemen. Really. I just, I just oh, wanted to know, doesn't Anthony see the correlation between his basement studio and his video studio he has in his basement? Yes, but that's the thing. Anthony puts out funny, interesting things. Not ill, yes. ill-fitting word song parodies. I put in, out illegal things that I cannot yes. possibly put up on the web. <laughs> Anthony yeah, shoehorns and bullets into computer <laughs> monitors. <laughs> and Danny Glover was in the shooter with Mark Wahlberg. All right, but no one's thinking about him, dude. No. Yeah. I'm not saying he's not famous, but no one's thinking about him. I think you get the point. It's not yes, as... sir. Have a good day. All right. All right. Any he, more stupid comments? He was huge when those Lethal Weapon movies were out, but since yeah. then, he gets a part here and there, but yeah. you're not really thinking about him. No. All right. Yeah, Hannity is in the afternoons over there, our pal, so... Oh, they ain't moving him. So when they move the I-Man into mornings over there, then, uh -oh. uh, then some people are going to be uh, looking for work. Right? Yep. Yikes. Went. Uh -oh. Hey, we didn't do the morning zoo bit of the day yet, so why don't we get this out of the way? Morning's up better than that. It's uh, it's a it's a terrific one from uh, West Palm Beach. We're gonna be leaving the West Palm Beach uh, airwaves soon. Yeah, who knows? They've been in search of a new morning show for the last six six to eight months. Well, yeah, they can replace us with like no names from another city. Instead of just that's smart promoting the show. Yeah, that's smart. I guess so. They get a local show. Have fun with your local show. Hmm. Could talk about West Palm Beach traffic. That's why people will listen. All right. Uh, so uh, I mentioned that because the morning zoo bit of the day comes from uh, a station out of West Palm Beach, Florida. The same people that uh, gave us uh, hell no to H two O. Oh God, that fucking piece well, of shit. Well, it's uh, from Wild ninety five point five in West wow. Palm Beach. They're wild. They got a new song called The Diet Rap. Here is your morning zoo bit of the day. This is uh, his latest release. Uh, it ain't easy being a fatty. It's the Value Meal Killer here once again. This is an anthem for all my fat brothers and sisters out there struggling with their weight. I'm sick and tired of people saying we got to eat a salad. You know what? Let's deep fry our salad. Drunks with dress. Hell yeah. <laughs> you rhyme Sing salad with, with salad, Jimmy. Uh -huh. Good. Hmm. I'm so sick of counting calories. I'm a better man with clogged arteries. Yeah. I'm so sick of counting calories. I'm a better man with clogged arteries. Uh -huh. If I drink more water, I swear I'll die. The way you make water better is to have it fried. If you say fat free, yeah. I'll slap your face. I get a violent when. Well, you can't fry water. No, no. That would be very difficult. <laughs> but that's how you make it better. Yeah. My food has no taste. The doctor says I'm a walking heart attack. Ooh, doctor, shut your mouth. Get me a Big Mac. <laughs> Some other greats have been chubby and oh, fat. Laughing. Santa Claus grimace and President Taft. <laughs> the key to life, eat food with grease. I don't care, I'm morbidly obese. <laughs> this diet Morbidly. light is something I hate. I need saturated fat and carbohydrates. <laughs> if I die before I wake, bury me with a pizza and a chocolate milkshake. Yo, this is a tribute to all my fat brothers and sisters who'll be lost. Uh, Rest in peace, Chris Farley. That guy in little coat. Rest in peace, <laughs> now, Carter. Give me a break. Rest in peace, Buddha. <laughs> Last but not least, <laughs> rest in peace, Elvis. Uh -huh. I'm out. Elvis. I'm starved. <laughs> Let's get something to eat, people. <laughs> Tell you what, you're, you're not half bad rapper, I mean. Yeah. Your skills are getting better. They are. Uh, Oh, the hole chimes in. Oh, my God. Fan points out. They really hate water, too. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> they, 
They, got a whole they are really against water. You can have a greatest hit CD here. <laughs> All their songs about water. What's this guy wash his ball bag with? Uh, bacon grease? Uh, I mean, <laughs> what, did, what did water ever do to you, pal? <laughs> I'd sure like to know. Oh, oh jeepers. <laughs> it was a, oh, so I guess it's just like that Florida sun. <laughs> <laughs> like it when it's uh, raining, right? <laughs> Maybe he had a kid, but then uh, Tommy Lee was babysitting him. <laughs> no. And he held a grudge. Oh, boy, I'm sure you don't like water. <laughs> <laughs> water. Hey, hey. Oh, hey with that water. Turned it, it into a, a skateboard park. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was written by Ted Yates. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there was a leak in the hole. Here's the thing: how unrealistic they are. Wait, what? How un? No, it was too racist. <laughs> you didn't get it. How unrealistic when he said doctor instead of saying clinic. What? Are you proud of yourself, Rich? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're the only one. <laughs> I, I love that. It's like. Like when you do something wrong. Uh, are you proud of yourself? <laughs> it's not even, not a mocking thing. It's just pure guilt. You, he was all excited. Proud of like he came up with something, but it I don't know what it is. Oh, bro, it does like water. <laughs> I just love it. doing that voice. Let's all just sit around here. <laughs> Oh, wow, another water song on the way, I bet. This guy, this guy doesn't want to live to be too old all the carbs. <laughs> His skin must look dry. <laughs> like a <of> water. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was genuinely awful. Yeah, Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absol Is an intern on the job? Wait, can I, uh, Dan? Uh, wait. Thank you. Because we before we change subjects, can I just point out Dan. something very obvious? That sh morning show is probably beating us in the ratings of West Palm Beach. Oh yeah, why wouldn't they be? <laughs> With fucking great shit like that. I guess we have to do uh, water song parody. Yeah, yeah water surrounded by it down there. You know, they probably are nice to it. Yeah, <laughs> water. You know, pay tribute to water. <laughs> uh huh. Fry it. What about your Water Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did rhyme salad with salad, too. Yeah, at yeah, the beginning, you rhyme salad with salad, which is just, don't do that in front of Jimmy. Uh, let's, he will go crazy. I know. Let's, One. let's go to Pete. Pete, what's up? Listen, I got the, the three themes of the day. Okay. All right. West Palm Beach, deep flying food, and most moon, it's e October. What was the last Are one? you proud of yourself? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I, got, I also got an early what did I learn. Have some pride. Any, anytime you crack on E-Rock, you get right through. Oh, I know. Because they all hate him. Yeah. <laughs> Which makes for a great uh, work environment when everybody hates the one guy. It's oh. terrific. As long as it's not everyone hating everybody. Let's talk about water some more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Comics in the 80s. Remember when they used to all do the parodies to rap? I mean, that was in the 80s. Oh, when you're Com rapping. Comics or used to close with, you know, let's do a, a yeah. rap parody. You thought that was over with maybe by 1992. Yeah. And they're still doing it in 2000. Well, those guys yeah. aren't comics, though. But just the they're fact morning shows. Know, it doesn't matter. Just the fact that it's it's not even been done. That and what still do you mean? There's a, uh, How com horrible. Comics used to do what? They used to close their shows, a lot of comics, and they would do a, a song parody to a rap when rap was getting Can we have hot. examples of those? I would love to hear some oh, of those. There's mm. got to be a million of those comics. Was it one of those things that. they were doing? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I was, I'm reading this prison Hack story. Oh, no, you remember when comics in the 80s used to out? close doing rap parody? Oh, my God. It's... <laughs> it's... <laughs> I can't. That's all I can say. And where they stop and fold their arms, oh yeah, yeah. and tilt their head a little bit. But it, thank you, good night. It was the corniest white guy shit. Yeah. Do we have an example? Um, who would do? Who who did though? I don't know. It was just road acts you would work with. They're all nameless as they should be. So whatever the rap song that was hot, they would just uh, redo it. Yeah, yeah or just uh, some rap about the thing, or they would do a rap about the fucking audience. It was just. Uh. It was. Awful. If they closed with a record, because they knew they were going to get a... Like, and, and plus, it was like the middle act, so you're headlining on the road, and now the middle act is closing with some rap parody, and the audience is going nuts. Then you go out with your hatred, and they hate you after that just beautiful oh. rap song. All right, we got to mm. find one of those. i got to hear that now. There was some uh, joke headliners used to tell, like... Uh, Something about like the show ain't over till the middle did his rap or something. It was like yeah. a fat lady oh, sings. Oh, really? Thing. It was yeah. that obvious. But yeah, it was that big of a thing in the eighties. Was it? Uh, what was the pinnacle? Rapping Rodney? Was that the one that? Oh, maybe they were all trying to follow. Didn't Richard Jenny have one? Now you all go home and go to bed. I'm gonna put a bullet <laughs> in my, my head. head. <laughs> 
Something like that. <laughs> no. He was a nice guy. You proud player. of yourself? <laughs> did, did, are, are you did, proud did of yourself? Did I tell you what Bonnie said about... I don't know if I told you guys. Any, there was a picture. It's from the Oscars. It was Jenny. Is Jenny standing there? Chris Rock, then me. Right? Oh. <laughs> Bonnie said... Out of these three people, which one do you think would have killed themselves? <laughs> that is funny. funny. Oh, that's good. God bless Bonnie. <laughs> Damn. I love the fact that she said it probably with no one around, just you two. <laughs> Not even to get a laugh. She was actually saying it to herself, and he overheard it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's say hi to Carl in Jersey. Carl, what's up? Hey, what's happening? I just wanted to say that the other caller was right. If you say, I fucking hate E-Rock, they put you right in. Yeah. I got nothing else. <laughs> there he I just goes. wanted He's to just... say that and see if it worked, and it did. That's well, E-Rocktober, uh, so. Hey, little Jimmy. Thanks. Any attention he gets. <laughs> it is true. Now he turns up his radio. I got to hear me. Hey, let's listen to Rapid Rodney. Oh. Oh, God, this is such this a This is the first, chill. but we got to find others. It's a Dude, doozy. it really is bad. I can tell you more right now, but last week I was in rough shape. Well, I don't get a break with nothing. I played hide and seek when I was three. No respect, no respect. Oh. Why they wouldn't even look for me. No respect, no respect. I was an ugly kid, I never had fun. No respect, no respect. They took me to a dog show and I won. No respect, no respect. The lines are when good. I was born, I brought <laughs> yeah. no joy. No respect, no respect. My old man said he wanted a boy. No respect, no respect. I was an ugly kid, always alone. No respect, no respect. Halloween, I had a trick or treat over the phone. No respect. Gets no all respect. his lines in there. Don't call my phone, don't ring. I don't get a break with anything. What's the matter, Rodney? Ah, uh, death, where is my sting? It's just rapping, Rodney. Oh. Ain't that your type? No, no. Rapping, Rodney. Get out of sight. It's just rapping, Rodney. Make no mistake, poor old rapping, Rodney. Can't get a break. Now it's Rodney. I didn't hate that one, though. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now it's Rodney. 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 <laughs> Even. <laughs> Rodney would have laughed at that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's Rodney. not bad because it's his act, and they just kind of, yeah. you know, threw... And it's Rodney. Made into a rap song. But the whole bad rap and the black uh, backup singer girls and the... Yeah, oh, let's go yeah. to Jason oh. in Jersey. Jason? Hey, boys, what's up? Hey. Uh, the guy's name is Barry Sobel. Oh, I, I remember yes. Barry Sobel. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, there was a million of them, but Barry, hold on, you're hold right. on. What, uh, what's, uh, do you know the name of it? Because we might have it in the system. Uh, no, he was he was on that sh that one that uh, the Danger Field. What Dice Clay was on? Yep. When Dice Clay first came out. You're right. That one yeah. show he was on that, like he wore his hat sideways, looked like a real retard. He would always. That was part of his act, though. Yes. That he was like kind of urban and stuff. Like he was yeah. like a, a white rapper. Oh, uh, that had to be like 88, 89, maybe. It Before it was cool, by the way, to be a white rapper. He, Barry Yo, Sobel was kind of doing that thing. <laughs> huh? La, 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 la. Speaking of fat people. Oh, perfect time for this. Leftover from yesterday. The smell of potato skins lingers on me now. I've got a big grease stain. Nightgown. I need some ice cream for my own satisfaction, baby. To go with my salty chips, my Pepsi, and my chicken gravy. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm dreaming about it. Come to mama. I Shotgun. What is this? This is Zucro bit. This is your morning zoo bit of the day, left over from yesterday. Oh, see, that's why I was confused because it's not morning 
Zoo Bits. Well, this is a uh, leftover from yesterday. This is a terrific song that they're playing like crazy in Indianapolis. They, oh, Indianapolis. They think this is just amazing. I wonder. Okay. I would say. Big girls eat fries. I mean, she does a fine job yeah. singing the dumb thing, but who gives a crap? It's yeah. not awful. It's, it's not great, you know, obviously, I, I, but it's yeah, like, like you, yeah. You know how many people are in their cars right now uncomfortable going, what, well, what is this? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. are they uh, doing? What? what? It should be really awful if we're going to play it. Like, some of them are really... Like, the ones that they play from Scott and Todd are really oh, bad. Oh, horrid. Those we, are really bad. We could play one from their show every day and yeah. not get bored with it. Yeah, you're probably right. We could have done a little better job with that. Because that was like, ah, it's just a chick singing a silly song about being fat. Ah, she doesn't know any better. She's a chick. Uh, she's a fat girl yeah. looking for fries, being fat. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard worse. <laughs> yeah. And morning zoo bit of the day Wednesday. I don't know what's Ooh. going on with that. Don't know what's going on with that, but maybe we'll have a morning zoo bit before the end of the show. I hope so. Let's say hi to Mark. What? What? what, what? I love the morning zoo bits. Now the one he brought in, I wasn't digging. No? Yeah. Dan's uh, looking at me like I'm nuts. Well, I am, but uh, Eminem's <laughs> got to pay. That one? Wonder, what is this one about? I think we need to call Sam, the expert on the morning zoo bits. Oh. All right, let's bring Sam in. Oh, this Actually, is a E-Rock's bit. pretty much an expert, too, on the morning zoo bits. Well, he just picked Scott and Todd uh, yeah. bits, though. We want to, like, time. his favorites. get a little variety in this bit. He used to work for them, right? <laughs> uh, what do you got there, uh, Sam? Tainted. What is that? <laughs> Eminem's got a pee? Yeah. Well, it's a hilarious parody song. (laughs) (laughs) Full of laughs, is it, Sam? Yeah, Uh, yeah, it's cracking up. Um, Yeah? It's a hilarious parody song. It's like, I think it's, uh, he rhymes me, but it sounds like it's P. And so it's a song about Eminem, but he has to go to the bathroom. Oh, that sounds good. So it's pretty... It's pretty good. F. Jane Seymour! That's what I say! F. Her! That her? She looks good. Yeah, well, she's off Dancing with the Stars. She looks sexy, man. Goodbye. That's Jane Seymour? F. Her, Jimmy! Saying no to my mom as far as an autograph went back in the day. All due respect, I wouldn't mind throwing her a nice one. (laughs) That'd be punishment for her, wouldn't it? Maybe she was a busy gal. A busy gal in an elevator with five other people? It's a perfect (laughs) opportunity to sign something. Maybe she was on her Blackberry. There was no Blackberries back in the day. There was no interruption. Blackberry. There was no interruptions. Cell phones? No? Nothing. It was a planner, a day planner back then. There was no cell phones when... Maybe she was looking at her day planner. When my mom asked for uh, an autograph from Jane Seymour, and Jane said no, and then the elevator ride was awkward for everybody involved. So I say, F you! Hope you get more food poisoning. (laughs) And she admitted that she has uh, booby plants. Yeah, yeah. She said she got him put in, uh, what, a few years ago for some role? Uh, a couple of cr- years ago. What was it, Wedding Crashers? Dr. Yeah. Dr. Quinn, medicine whore. <laughs> <laughs> but then she said <laughs> that they had to specially make them because they were uh, smaller than any Yeah, she couldn't. Any s- plants that were on the market. She couldn't say enough how small they were and how the doctor had to order them special. Yeah. You know, lowercase A cups? What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Don't so waste I, your time. Anyway, go ahead, Sam. So, no, I just... I found this uh, song, and I wanted to share it with you guys because I just thought it was funny. Well, this is out of Virginia. Tommy and Rumble. Yeah. From WNOR, giving them a little exposure on the Opie and Anthony uh, uh, yeah. network today. This is your morning zoo bit of the day. Guess who's back? Back again. And he's wearing a depends. Now I'm back again and a little bit hyper. I'm wearing rubber pants and a grown-up diaper. It's oh, I didn't see that coming. Ain't nothing sadder. A rapper from Detroit without control of his bladder. So let's just see what's wrong with me. Perhaps it's my physiology. Or more to the point, my urology. That's the cause of all this apology. Now my friends all think that I'm cursed. I was born with an uncontrollable thirst. I drink and drink and it's worse and worse. Stand back, I think I'm gonna I'm Now it feels like I gotta pee. In fact, it feels like a lot of pee. So everybody look away from me while I try to empty little me. Now it feels like I've got to pee. In fact, right. it feels like right. a um, We got it the first time. Everybody look away from me while I try to empty little me. Uh, yes, Jimmy. Uh, I, Two things. I, 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 Two things. I, I will say, 
Oh, he sings well. Uh, the, Sounds a lot like the uh, the original song. Sure. The chorus, give him that much. The chorus is atrociously written. Hmm. The, the the part before the chorus, as far as just writing for commercial radio, is not that bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, but mm -hmm. the, the chorus wrecks it. It just, I gotta pee. Oh, stop it. <laughs> so before, before that, you were thinking maybe Jim Norton would like to be on their show. Is what you were saying. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I was no. only saying... Well, that it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. The writing of it, uh, for the production value is good, but there's no laughs in here. No, I've no, had a Archie, nope. You had a couple <laughs> chuckles. <laughs> you in had really. You you were listening. I was lemon and iced tea, bloody mary mixed for something extra <laughs> spicy. No uh. I'm still feeling dry like a tub of weed in Kenya on the Fourth of July. My constant thirst is not abating, but my pea-sized bladder keeps inflating. My adult diaper is now parading out of the pants I'm irrigating. This irrigating is irritating, embarrassing, and humiliating because I'm nonstop emanating and spraying homemade lemonade. Now it feels like I gotta pee. In fact, it feels like a lot of pee. So everybody look away from me while I try to empty little me. Now it feels like in fact, it feels like a lot of pee. So everybody look away from me while I try to empty little me. They really mailed it in on the chorus, didn't they? Yeah. Ooh. I've been holding it since Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That's some fantastic stuff right there. Uh, wow. Let's move into Morning Zoo bit of the day. Love morning soup of the day. Yes. Uh, Richard from Alabama, no, you need a ruler shoved up your ass. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Uh, here's your morning soup bit of the day. This is a uh, Campbell's Chunk Soup with Britney Spears bit. This is heard on several morning shows, including the syndicated Dave and Jimmy show. Dave and Jimmy? And I knew he's been gone for a few days. Where the fuck? <laughs> Dave and Jimmy. And the Do Dave show on KDWB in Minneapolis. The what? The the Do Dave. What about AJ Poopy Shits? <laughs> or whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> <laughs> I want Sam to do that live. Wow, that could be rough. Yeah. Yeah. Well, right now, you want to see if he... Because I'm thinking he makes, like, uh, facial expressions. Yeah. And maybe uh, uh, body movements. Yeah, Does he, he, he put his hands character. on his hips? He is a little, little twink. I think he's method. I think he gets into the character. Do you get into character like Mr. Imus? Yeah. Got to use characters. All right. Don't look at him. Right. No one can. <laughs> Do you turn around and fix your hair? No one can. You turn yeah, it might hair, look but... something like this. AJ Poopy there Shits is in the studio. <laughs> AJ Poopy Shits. And you could, um, I guess go. you could intro like Morning Zoo Bit of the Day. And talk about how hot Britney Spears is because you're all about the chicks with tits, and that's your that's your uh, that's your catchphrase, by the way. Don't forget chicks with tits. Yeah, you could have used that a little more in your I promo. Okay. I was feeling like you got a catchphrase now mm -hmm. that he liked chicks and their tits. <laughs> okay, was that the line? I think so. All right. Yeah. All right, stop talking like Sam, and and now let's say hi to AJ Poopy Shits. Hey guys, what's up? This is. AJ Poopy Shits. Um, I'm here on the One Show, just having a great, <laughs> just having a great time with the guys. We're here to talk about Britney Spears. Oh, whoa, whoa! What do you mean you're having a great time with the guys? That sounds a little weird, AJ. No, Poopy just shits. guys being guys, talking about chicks and their he tits. Does. He does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> I knew he would look exactly like this when he did it. I'm just watching him on the camera, so I don't, yeah, I don't throw want, him off. I don't want to throw you off. I want this to work, so I'm I, I'm turned around. Ant's kind of looking through the pal talk camera. I just am here. We want to talk about Britney Spears and her fabulous tits or gazungas, and just how great they've been looking lately. And hopefully, this morning zoo bit of the day will be all about tits, because that's all I'm into. You like the uh, tits, right? I friggin' love them. But she's not really that hot, uh, AJ Poopy shits. Back in the day, she was, but yeah, you seem not to really know who's yeah. hot and. Yeah, you don't understand when someone... You, you can't just say Britney Spears is hot. You gotta understand that maybe her hot days are long... Come on, long dude. Long gone. Chicks are chicks, and tits are tits. I mean, get <laughs> he real. He loves tits. Well, he's gotta keep the catchphrase. 
But don't you think her tits are uh, saggy by now, AJ Poopy Shits? I guess they're a little saggy. I mean, they could be better. Yeah. But they're certainly better than, like, something on a guy or something. And you don't like guys, right? Oh, no. I mean, guys being guys and stuff is cool, but chicks is where it's at for me. Married man, Mr. Poopy Shits? (laughs) I'm a... I'm playing the field right now, oh, actually. Oh, okay, playing the field. Just trying to get as many chicks as I can right now. <laughs> yeah. It's been going pretty well. Yeah? Great. Why don't man. you tell us about the last time you, uh, you had sex with a woman? Oh, my God. It was great. It was this chick. She was so hot. She had, like, blonde hair and these great tits. And I just got to play with them and maybe, like, tweak their nipples a little and mm-hmm. and just do all these great things to her. her and she was so into me sounding a little too much like Sam I'm not looking at you well AJ poopy shits what's happening to you I don't know who Sam is this is AJ <laughs> and uh... wow you really sold it that time I don't know who Sam is do you like anal with hey. these girls oh I'll do anything with a chick <laughs> that's a chick what's your favorite part of a chick Oh, oh, it's the tits. Come on. (laughs) (laughs) He's kind of dancing to the music a little bit. (laughs) All right, AJ Poopy Shit. So uh, explain this bit, the morning's a bit of the day with this hot Britney Spears. Well, I guess this bit is about... (laughs) This is uh, Britney Spears, that piece of ass that she is, doing a a commercial for Campbell's Chunky Soup. (laughs) Chunky soup, really? Yeah. yeah, it's like a parody, but I don't know why we have to sit here and talk about soup and Britney Spears. Let's get to the tits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get to the tits. <laughs> Good Campbell's possibility. Uh, hey, y'all, it's Britney Spears for Chunky Soup. They say Chunky fills you up, right? <sighs> And that's good, because lately I've been filled up all wrong by that K-Fab f***ing son of a mother f***. I hate that bitch. F*** him. He's such a piece of white trash. So, anyway, Chunky Soup has a couple vitamins and minerals. I'm not even sure what they are, but then again, so does this cigarette. Something else that tastes like cigarettes. My ex-husband K-Fab, that mother what a f- low life leaving his children for me to take care of and I don't even know what I'm doing I'm on hooked on drugs and drinking alcohol and walk with no f- shoes on wow. <laughs> chunky soup my kids love it when they're drinking what are they drinking? bourbon I told you nothing but Chris style my kids are better than that you little sons of a bitches chunky soup fills your dumpy white trash ass upright so you can go and strut yourself out in public y'all Oh, I don't have panties on. Good Campbell's possibility. Oh. <laughs> Does anybody remember last <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> that's terrific. That's terrific. Uh, wow. And that's being played on a lot of stations, huh? Oh, sorry. That's, that's good, huh? I knew you dig that. I knew that you could. Yeah, I knew that you could. AJ Poopy Shits, what'd you think of that? Well, I mean, it was not funny. The song was all right. <laughs> that they were playing in the background. But just, I mean, my favorite part about that, the only really redeeming quality, mm. is you get to picture Britney Spears. You know what I mean? And what, uh, like, what would you picture about uh, Britney? Oh, just everything. Her curves, like, that comes right up to her tits. I just, <laughs> <laughs> of course. I just love those. <laughs> Don't you guys? You know, oh, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it is the Christmas season. Oh. And we're, we're too lazy to actually come up with a... Uh, an Opie and Anthony Christmas song. So why not play? No. Why not play, play somebody else's? Why not play Scott and Todd's? This oh, the oh. big morning show here in New York City, oh. setting the radio world on fire. How many friggin' people are there on that show? About fifteen. My God, Scott and Todd in the morning. Oh, we'll give them a plug. Yuck. 
And and this is a good test, by the way. We like to test our listeners every once in a while. Mm-hmm. We're going to play something right now. It's called uh, Have a Roly Poly Christmas. Uh huh. <laughs> and if you find yourself, <laughs> if you find yourself chuckling, <laughs> laughing, enjoying this thing, and not because of what we do with the song, then I think you might want to uh, change the dial. That's yeah. Right. This show isn't for you. We we'll take a big handful of cinnamon and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> throw yourself down an elevator shaft. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what they did. They made an animation of with all their heads on it of them in little elf outfits doing these wacky little dance. Yeah. That's wonderful. Can we do the same thing? Oh my god. But we want to be nude. <laughs> <laughs> they have dancing elves on their Abusing website. Abusing each other. <laughs> That'll be funny. <laughs> For fruity elves. <laughs> Ugh. Well I'll be happy to catch G H. <laughs> <laughs> hey uh Sam, what do you got on Scott and Todd in this awful song? Oh, I was just, uh, I was listening the other day just because sometimes you know, I like to listen to Scott and Todd. <laughs> and, uh, sure, laughs, sure right? Yeah, yeah, it just helps me get the humor back in the morning. <laughs> and I heard uh, Roly Poly Christmas and thought you guys might want to listen to it as well. You right. got a chuckle from it, right? Yeah, it was, yeah. Little, it was very funny. Well, oh, wow. It is our morning zoo bit of the day. Yes. And I, I think we only get bits from Scott and Todd at this point. Well, they are just a they gold have, mine. Of- they have a plethora. Yeah, I plethora of morning zoo bits to choose from. Here's uh, have a roly poly Christmas. Listen to this. Merry Christmas. Sam's dancing. Have a roly poly Christmas, <laughs> eating everything in sight. Oh, I <laughs> get it. Because people get better right. on the holiday. All right, I was I was wondering oh, what the boy. theme was going to be. Woo! Whoa, whoa, hey. That's a little edgy, though, because what there are people, <laughs> I'm sure they wanted to do the song, but yet be sensitive to people that um, are overweight, because we all come in different shapes and sizes, and that's what makes us diverse. I agree. I couldn't agree more. And mm-hmm. I just want to make sure that this one doesn't go a little too far. Uh, these guys are known for going a little too far, and I, I just want to monitor this one. I bet yeah. uh, I bet there's going to be a lot of food references. <laughs> 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 these guys like to eat, don't they? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Might gain a few pounds uh, during yeah. the holiday. Roly poly, too big to even walk, are you? <laughs> but we don't want to, no. <laughs> Come on now. We don't want to make fun of uh, uh, people that are uh, overweight. I don't even consider it overweight. It's just a different size right. b- body. We're all, it's a diverse uh, nation. We should address that and celebrate it. With songs like Roly Poly Christmas. Right. And by the way, let's look at it, look at the positive. You're not overweight. You're small for a planet. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Oh, oh my God. Wow. Cakes and pies go to your thighs. That's Isn't true. that the truth? That's true. Oh. And uh, apparently a little surgery goes to your eyes. <laughs> make you look younger, doesn't it, fathead? <laughs> Might have to unloosen that belt buckle around the holidays. <laughs> Whoa, hey, hey. Cakes and pies go to your thighs. That's funny. Uh, have a roly poly Christmas as Lonnie Hazard flips you around. <laughs> 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 uh, good gosh. Cakes good and gravy. Cakes pies goes to your thighs, and the formaldehyde rag goes over your eyes. <laughs> I almost tripped over that one. <laughs> formaldehyde rag. Tough to get out when you're singing, folks. <laughs> Christmas Everybody. is the whole thing you don't pop. Oh, oh. Red pudding and red eyes thing you try, but you can't stop. Mm-hmm. Moo, moo, the dress you wear, cause nothing will fit. Oh. This time of year you need. <laughs> this song sounds like <laughs> <laughs> Ah, boy. That's right. We're making fun of you. (laughs) You stink. (laughs) He looks like droopy dog. (laughs) He's got like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. How big does your head actually get when you get older? He's awful. His his eyes are like 25 and the rest of his face is like 60. (laughs) How does that happen? He's a young man's eyes. Oh. Wait, stop it, stop it. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, 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 you just wanted it stopped, okay. <laughs> oh. But there's plenty of fat references still to get to. Oh, there's more? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Holy poly, yeah. folks, pull over. Here it comes. <laughs> Got to be careful around the house. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat too much, folks. Blow up like a balloon, but you won't float away. Why? Because you're a fat pig. Nothing will fit this. 
chairs when you sit. Oh, oh God, that's my, funny. Oh, my because God. Because you won't fit in one because your, your ass is fat. Or don't move to the Middle East or they'll cut off your... Can we say that? <laughs> You're a woman? <laughs> Have a roly-poly Christmas. Oh, oh that's stupid. good. Again, we eat too much around the holidays. Yeah. Have a roly-poly Christmas. Feed the brocade, what the hell? Because there's no laws and Mr. Santa Claus can make an XL. <laughs> wow. What is that called? Shoehorning? Shoehorn those words in. He shoehorned those Shoehorn in. them in. But they're celebrating um, diversity. XL. Pool, pool, planet for lunch. Stretch marks in your guts. By Christmas Day, you'll look like job of a hut. Oh. oh. Wow. That's not bad, a 20-year-old reference. I like Jahab. Jahab of the Hut. hut. Like oh. Jahab. Jaha. Like Fatty Arbuckle. <laughs> With the Coke bottle, Fatty Arbuckle. <laughs> <laughs> like Caesar's Fat Assistant. <laughs> Almighty. Uh, wow. Can we, can we hear the Jahab of the Hut line, how awful he stretches out. Oh. Jahab of the Hut. He had a stroke in the middle of the line. Please stop. Oh, that's great. Uh, who's uh, who's trying who's trying to rhyme scheme uh, with the with the, the word hut at yeah. this point? Oh <laughs> uh, uh, well, yeah. There's a few. Yeah. Pool, pool, planet for lunch. Stretch marks in your guts. By Christmas Day, you'll look like Jabba the Hut. Oh. Have a rolling. He actually turned Jabba into a five-syllable word. Sadly, like Paul Lind. <laughs> oh, wait for our next hit. Walking in a <laughs> wonderland. <laughs> Celebrating diversity. In the matter, we can build a bro man. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, Right. It's holy Christmas, being skinny's not so great. It's more fun to say you're done and show your empty plate. Yes. Have a roly poly Christmas, get the sugar in your veins. Eat tons uh -huh. of grams of freaking yams and suck down candy canes. <laughs> oh, is that, uh, is that it? What? Yeah, I see you backing up. Oh, I... well, you, you can't. What do you say after? How do you follow, uh... What do you say after you work the word yams into a, a song? I mean, yams? Uh, what the F eats yams, you dope? Well, just because just cause the word fits doesn't mean you oh, use it. Oh, ho. Yams. Mm-hmm. the fast food joints. Did they forget your cheese? No! Remember that your goal is stomach by your knees. Yay! Have a roly poly Christmas. <laughs> Get a fat roll neath your nose. <laughs> Eat cookies and your insulties and the gingerbread house. <laughs> Smash the bathroom scale with your body mass. Hey, what? Uh oh, ass. Your family when you pass them. Get a little five little. Make a little fun. It's the best time of the year. Yes. Eat and drink until you get a big Santa Claus size oh. rear. Rear. That's funny. Oh. It's gotten God. Say what? Hey, what? Goodness gracious. Same. You should see what's going on in the Yankee dugout. They're all laughing at the roly-poly jokes. They're making yam references. Now, Andy Pettit's smiling. Uh, Posada knew the fat jokes were coming. <laughs> of all the dramatic things I've ever seen. Oh, uh, hey, uh, this is uh, uh, Roger Clare. I'll uh, be a little roly-poly uh, rhyme with John the Hut. Hut. <laughs> wow. <laughs> ah, that's fantastic. Hey, God bless you guys. God bless. They've been doing morning radio forever. I don't know why with that crap. But... Who laughs at that on the way to work, though? I don't know. I don't know! Santa Claus size rear. That's a big one. <laughs> Funny. Good brain Funny sense. stuff. All right. Hey, uh, well, there's uh, Pete from New Jersey. He's hoping that Scott and Todd try to invade Ant's uh, home. In the near future. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Rolling and pulling down the stairs. 
holding their roly poly guts. <laughs> Well, we didn't uh, get to what did we learn on the show today. That means... Uh, we didn't learn anything, right? That means we didn't oh. need filler today, so that's a good sign for us. <laughs> hey, uh, best cinnamon challenge ever. E-Rock chokes on on Opie and Anthony. That sounds well, a little weird. I don't like that. Yeah, it sounds a little like weird when you read it like that. Ho, ho. It's on YouTube. The video is getting viewed. Uh, this is a biggie, folks. It's a biggie. E-Rock almost died yesterday. Check it out for yourself. Best cinnamon challenge ever. E-Rock chokes on Opie and Anthony uh, on YouTube. Okay. An old commercial featuring our old pal, Joey Paisano. Uh, it, it is so bad. We're calling it old school Opie and Anthony, basically. It but is really bad. See, for the people... TV commercial. I, I guess for the rest oh. of the country, uh, at, at our old gig uh, when we were doing Afternoon Drive, one of our <coughs> biggest advertisers was Paisano's of Mulberry Street. And Tom, relax. He sold the restaurant, so we're not trying to promote his restaurant. <laughs> I don't even know who owns it anymore. He moved out of that uh, of Little Italy over a year ago. But uh, before we started doing all that great advertising for Joey, he was pretty much in bed with Scott and Todd here in New York City. Yeah. And they actually filmed a TV commercial. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess jo Joey must have put it up on YouTube. He must have. Yeah. It's up there, and we're going to link it to onaradio.com later today. It's so bad. We didn't know what to say when we saw it. We were very uncomfortable. Yeah, I had no words. I don't want to be friends with Joey anymore after seeing this commercial. <laughs> Joey does not look like Joey. No, no. No, not at all. And they're all doing these bad, like, Italian stereotypes. <laughs> yeah. It's really horrid. By the way, oh, just horrible. if you don't want to wait for us to, to link it up later on <laughs> onaradio.com, it's Scott. You, you throw Scott and Todd star and Joey's uh, Paisano into YouTube and you'll find it. Look at Joey. Look at Joey. Oof. It's a bigger Joey. <laughs> a much bigger Joey. <laughs> With the glasses? Yeah. yeah. That was like, Joey. It's like Jerry Lewis after the steroids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where he blew up.